This is the brand new Peter McKinnon everyday backpack from Nomatic, but in Europe, Gomatic. I say brand new, it's not brand new, it's been out for a little while now, but it's it's new to me. I got it today. I've been waiting to buy this backpack for a long time. I keep talking myself out of it because I've got the older Peter McKinnon bag, this one. This massive one that you can fit literally everything you own inside of and it weighs a genuine ton when you when it's full and you're traveling and you're going away with clothes and stuff it weighs a hell of a lot and I love this bag and I will continue to use it all of the time but it's not usable every day so that's where this one comes in it's nice and small nice and light we all know what it's like now we've seen plenty of unboxing videos and tours of the bag I don't want to do that, I just want to go out and use it, so I can't right now because it's about 9 o'clock at night, but tomorrow morning I'm going to get up nice and early, pack the bag up and go and try and catch some form of sunrise, do some landscape photography and use the bag and actually put it through a real life test because there's a million and one unboxings on YouTube, but I just want to go and use it. So, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Morning, it is half past six. I barely just got out of the car, but look at this. Look at that. I'm gonna get my camera out and head up to the top. I don't know if you can see that, but the sun is just coming up there. So I'm going to run and try and capture that because it looks incredible. Quick, <laughs> nearly there. expecting that this morning my intentions were to come up here and talk about this bag and how much I like it but kind of got a little bit distracted by that and taking photos I think landscape photography might be my new favorite thing I've been after something to inspire me to get back out there and take photos I think it might be landscape photography I mean they're not great at the moment my landscape photos but it's that next thing to learn. You always need something to help keep them better, getting better. I think this might be it, landscape photography, because it's hard work getting up in the morning, but it's worth it when you get stuff like that. With the clouds. I'm like 20 minutes from home. So nice, I just did not expect it. <laughs> Guess I should probably talk about the bag just a little bit. But the reason I was after a new bag, apologies if the audio is terrible by the way, I'm using a wireless mic obviously, uh, so I might get a bit of rustling, a bit of wind noise, but I think it's okay. But I've been after a new bag for a while, somewhat smaller than the older Peter McKinnon bag because that is huge, as I mentioned, it weighs an absolute ton. This is like the nice middle ground because you can fit still loads of gear in here but it's so much lighter itself that it doesn't have that effect that the other one does where it's just weighing you down on your back and giving you sore shoulders. You can still fit a lot in it, still got the separate laptop compartment on the back. It's pretty much waterproof and whatever resistant. I've thrown it around this morning and chucking it in heather and all sorts. It's covered in sand and water. 
doing a good job. It's a great bag. Don't think you can go wrong. It is expensive, but at the same time, Nomatic, Peter McKinnon, you know you're going to get your money's worth. It's worth it. If you like photography, you like going out, taking pictures, throwing it around, you need a durable bag. Don't think you can go wrong. Definitely worth the money. Um, try not to fall over. I'm going to carry on taking some photos. I feel like I've almost forgotten what this video is about. I've got that distracted with how nice it is this morning because I just wasn't expecting it. I might just start making landscape photography videos. I quite like it. But actually talking about photography and learning the process of landscape photography. I might start doing that. Let me know if you'd be interested in that because I kind of am. But um, yeah, I really like the bag. The bag's great. But I really like these photos as well. I'm gonna have to start getting up earlier. What a morning. And one last thing I like about this bag, and then I promise I'll stop talking about the bag, because I like the bag, is I, lo I love the fact it's got a magnetic pouch on each side, so I can have a tripod and a water bottle, whereas the old Peter McKinnon bag, the big one, only had one on one side and then the other one was a side access pouch, which I never really used. This though, much more useful because there's loads of room in it. You can store a bigger tripod in there. I've just got a little Gorilla Pod. You can store a bigger tripod if you want and a water bottle, which makes it much more practical. And the final thing is I love the fact that as well as the main camera compartment, when you open it that way, you also have top access, which can be accessed from the top and inside as well. I think that is absolutely genius. And for that reason, this is probably my favorite camera bag. I'm going to stop mentioning camera bags now because there's not a lot else you can say about a bag, but I think I prefer this to the bigger one, even though I love the bigger one. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to say about the bag. I just really like it. Big fan of it, but I'm also a big fan of that. Look at that. I can't get enough of it. Why am I? I'm really gonna have to start getting up early and that's, that's not something I'm excited about, but I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, right, head back down. Right, okay, so I'm now back from my little photography trip this morning. It was a lot colder than I was expecting it to be. I guess it is getting towards the end of September, but I've now got my comfies on, doing a bit of photo and video editing, having a lazy afternoon. I think that's probably one of my favorite ways to spend a Saturday is going out early, taking photos, and then editing in the afternoon. I do like it a lot. But anyway, the Peter McKinnon travel bag, everyday bag, this is the everyday one. The other one is the travel bag. The everyday bag, I love it. It is so much more practical to use on a daily basis. And I know that is the idea behind it. It's perfect for those little photography trips like this morning. Whereas if I was to take my travel bag, which I would previously have done, if I decided to go out with just one camera and a lens, that bag is way too big for that. And it would be more than half empty. So it, there's no point behind that really is. It doesn't fit that purpose. This though, it's perfect for it. You can use it every single day. You can put things in top, carry all your camera gear around. I like it. I'm a big fan of the bag. I think I've probably said that a few too many times in this video, but I'm a big fan of just Peter McKinnon gear in general. I think he's, I think he's nailed it really, um, along with Nomatic. So yeah, I'd highly recommend this bag if you're interested. I'm not going to do a full tour of the bag because there's loads of videos of that on YouTube and I'm not really interested. So yeah, I'm going to win the video here. Bit of a weird one, but I've enjoyed making it. So that's all that matters. Um, I'm going to go and finish editing. See you in the next one.